building a login form with Bootstrap is really easy. I'm going to build this one over here with some basic HTML and CSS so that if you need your own login box, this will take you through the whole process. My name's Adrian and I do videos around design and development, so if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. We'll start by creating a new project and I'm going to create a file in here called index.html. Here we'll do our HTML code, but to make things easier, we'll head to the Bootstrap website and we'll just grab a copy of their starter template, which will help us get up and running. In here, we have everything we need, including pulling in Bootstrap, as well as the JS that it might be using. We will update the title over here and we'll change this to Bootstrap Login Form. We don't need a H1 yet, but we'll get to that in a bit. The only other thing I'm going to do is hit F1 here and open up a live server so that we can see our changes live as we make them. What I might do is just have them back to back so that we can see our progress as we move through. Since we're building a login form, the very first thing we're going to add in is a form. And for this, I'm just going to paste it in here. And for the time being, we won't give it any action. So let's place that in here. What we do want to be able to do is add maybe a H1 tag here saying maybe please sign in. And we might also place in an image in here. And in this case, the image we might use is just the bootstrap logo here. So let's put bootstrap logo and we might give this a height and a width. So I'm thinking maybe 72 pixels. Let's also make sure that we're copying in the full syntax here for the image itself. And there we go. Now, the other thing that we want to do here is make sure all the content is center. So to be able to do this, we're going to wrap it in a text center div. So I'm just going to place that in here just like this. And we also want to give it a little bit of a margin there from the top. So in our image, tag here, I'm going to add a class here and we're going to pass in a margin of top of maybe something like four units. And this will just give it a little bit of space there from the top. Other than that, we should be almost ready. We just need to maybe customize the H1 tag here just a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a H3 class here, which will make it a little bit slower, smaller. And we'll also give it a little bit of margin at the bottom of maybe three units. And we'll also get rid of the font weight from being so bold by passing in font weight normal. All these classes will make it look a little bit better. And I think that's looking okay. The only other thing I'm thinking is to give it a little bit of space there from the image. So I might pass in margin bottom with four units as well. And this will just give it a little bit of space there. Now that we have these elements in here, we can actually create our sign in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a label in here. And this label I'm thinking will pass in a class to start off with. And this class will be SR only. What this will do is make sure that the label doesn't actually show up, but we'll add one anyway, just so that it's accessible. And in this case, we'll just pass in email address in here. I want to create an input. And for this input, we're going to do this as an type of email. We want to add a couple of other things in here, such as an ID, which I'll set as maybe email address. And we'll also want a class. In this case, I'm going to do form control. And finally, we'll also do a placeholder. And in here, I'll type in email address. We can add in other stuff here as well, such as maybe a couple of fields like required and auto focus. And what this will do is make sure that when someone's filling out the form, they will need to fill this out and it will automatically focus in on this input as soon as the page is loaded. So that's very useful if you want to make sure that people can easily log in. The next thing we're going to do is add a second input here. Now, in this case, I'm going to do another label here. And in this case, we've also missed out the four section here on our previous one. So I'm going to add in a four section here. And in this case, I'm just going to pass in the ID just here. Let's create another one here. And this will be for the password. So in this case, I'm just going to put in password 
as the for section. And in here, I'll just pass in password for the label. This label, we also want to make sure that we have that class of SR only. And let's create the input here too. This input will be a little bit different. In this case, it'll be a password of type. And we'll also pass in the ID here as password. And we'll also put in a placeholder here as password. Finally, we'll add in the bootstrap class here for form control. Let's hit save on that and we can see we've got our second input here. So that's looking pretty good. Finally, we'll add in another section here for the sign in. And what I want to be able to do is maybe do an input here or sorry, maybe a button. In this case, the button will just say sign in. So we'll have it just here, but we'll style this a little bit as well. Let's add some classes to it. So what I'm going to add is button and button dash large. We'll also pass in button dash primary, which will use the primary color there. And finally, we'll do button dash block. And this will just make sure that it's using the full width. We can wrap this in another div. And in this case, this div might give us some margin. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe giving it a margin top of three units. And let's put that in there just so that it's a little bit spaced out from our email and our password there. A lot of logins also have a section to remember me. So let's create another one for that. I'm going to create a class here called checkbox. And what I'm thinking is we'll do a label and inside the label, which we don't have to add anything in, we'll do an input type of checkbox. And in this case, I'm just going to do the value here as remember me. Remember me. Let's also pass in some text here so the user knows what this is. So we'll do remember me. And that should just pop up over here. And there it is. That's looking pretty good. I think we're almost done here. Uh, the only other thing I'm thinking of is maybe adding a copyright or some other content. But uh, otherwise, I think that's pretty good. Now you will notice that as we zoom out, the content for this is a little bit large. And this is because our current form doesn't have a max width. So what we can do is we can pass in the style class in here and do a max width of maybe 480 pixels. And maybe we'll also pass in a margin here of Odo and this should center it. The only other thing I'm thinking is maybe to add a few more units of margin there from the top. So I'm just going to do MT dash five, which will do five units from there from the top. We could make this even smaller by doing 240 pixels or 300 pixels. It depends on what you need, but hopefully this gives you an example of how to create this sign in input. There are always small customizations you can do to make this look a little bit better, such as, for example, if you have a look at these inputs here, the styling on these doesn't look quite right because they've got bordered radius there. And those seem to go in and out a little bit there. The very first thing we could do, for example, is here in our classes, we could add a margin bottom of three units to give it some space in between. But another thing that's useful sometimes is just to pass in your own styling. So in this case, I'm going to do a styling definition here for any inputs that are the type of email. And what I'm going to do is maybe do a border bottom left radius of zero pixels and a border bottom right radius of zero pixels. We're going to copy this out and we're going to create another one here for password. But in this case, instead of the bottom section, we'll do that to the top. And we can see that we've got these two borders essentially being finished out. Just let's make sure that we remove the little right radius. The other thing here is that for the password section, we could do a border top of zero pixels and that'll get rid of that extra line there. And it looks like everything fits in nicely now. For the input box here, we could do a margin top of three units just to give that same amount of spacing from the top and the bottom. And otherwise, I think our sign in is finished now. What we can do now is just do a quick test by testing the email and testing the password and testing the remember me section and the button itself. And it looks like that's all come across.
If you were building this in an application, this is the part where you would implement some JavaScript or add in your React or Angular or Vue and actually create the functionality for the login. But this is something we might have a look at in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this one though. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.